Good morning everyone at Lowood. Mr. Jacobs teaching you today about apostrophes. It's or it's and contractions. What are they you may be thinking? Well, we're going to learn how and why we use apostrophes. There's a link there to a YouTube video. It's a bit of a silly fun video and song all about apostrophes. I recommend you listen to it because it helps understand it a little bit more and the song sticks in your head so the rules and the reasons and the why fours that we use them stay in your mind a little bit longer so we had a bit of fun um, in our household as i try to teach my children some things about apostrophes too so give it a go it's it's is a contraction for it is or it has the apostrophe replaces the letters that he have been removed so it has can be shortened to it's replacing the h and the a with the apostrophe Another example here, it is, can be shortened with the small i in what I'm circling here, being taken out and the apostrophe replacing the second i, so it becomes it's. Some examples of it is. It is time for lunch. It's time for lunch. It is always the same. It's always the same. It is lovely when the sun shines. It's lovely when the sun shines. It is on the table. It's on the table. It has, it has been ages, it's been ages. It has come round quickly, it's come round quickly. It has got to happen soon, it's got to happen soon. It has been sunny all week, it's been sunny all week. If you can place it with it is or it has, it needs an apostrophe. So remember to use the apostrophe, otherwise it has a different meaning and won't make sense. It's indicates possessive. It does not need an apostrophe possession because it is the possessive form of the pronoun. So it will belong to him or her, it's his, it's hers, or it might belong to the thing or the object. So let's look at some examples. The dog chased its tail. The tail belongs to the dog. The dog obviously owns the tail. It's his tail. The dog chased its tail. Plus, it is and it has wouldn't make sense. The dog chased it is tail. The dog chased it has tail. Neither of those makes sense, so you can check it. The sofa was comfy, but he didn't like its colour. The possessive there is the colour of the sofa, the sofa's colour. So that's why we say its colour without the apostrophe. Again, you can check it. The sofa was comfy, but he didn't like it is colour. That's just not right. The sofa was comfy, but he didn't like it has colour. It has colour, but that didn't make sense. So we know it doesn't need an apostrophe. The jury reached its decision. If you know what the jury are, it's a group of people in the court that make decisions. The decision, therefore, is theirs. So the jury reached its decision is without the apostrophe. Let's check it. The jury reached it is decision. The jury reached it has decision. Again, those sentences do not make sense, so you can check that it isn't with an apostrophe. And that's just confirming that there. It's or it's, again, your turn to test this now. Does it need an apostrophe or doesn't it? I've heard it's really good. Now, is there any possessive there? Is anything being owned by anything? Not really. Let's have a look. I've heard it's really good. I've heard it is really good. The company opened its or its first offices in Manchester. Is there any possession there? Who do the offices belong to, for example? Brilliant. The offices belong to the company. Those offices in Manchester are the company's offices. So I'm thinking you're right, it won't have the apostrophe. Superb. The company opened its first offices in Manchester. We can check that, remember, so let's do that. The company opened it is first offices in Manchester, or the, co the company opened it has first offices in Manchester. Exactly. They don't make sense, so we don't need the apostrophe. It's, or it's easy to remember the rules for the possessive use of the apostrophe and its use in contraction. So which one do we think? It is easy to remember. Does that make sense? I think it might. And 
it is using contractions and it has used the contractions that doesn't make sense so I'm thinking it's apostrophe first and then no apostrophe second so it is can be shortened to it's easy to remember the rules for the possessive use of the apostrophe and its use in contraction so it's being used in the contraction it belongs in the contraction the contraction owns that apostrophe if you like so that's why we don't have it because there is that possessive there so what are contractions well contractions are words that have letters missing an apostrophe shows where the letters have been missed out words like this are used in formal writing such as letters to friends writing a character in a story is speaking or more modern use you might write emails you may write text messages so again informal forms of writing contractions are not used though in pieces of formal writing so if you're writing a report that we do for your parents we wouldn't use contractions formal letters between mr trimble and ourselves would be without contractions and if you're writing a certificate everything's just a bit more formal so we don't have contractions as a rule make up a contraction don't forget your apostrophe so with contractions when we're shortening um, two words so i have been shortened to i've must remember the apostrophe otherwise it doesn't look or it is not right don't forget your missing word has to be a vowel so the missing letter it should say there has to be a vowel a e i o and u may be a letter with a vowel but that will involve a vowel at all times as a general rule so to fill up contractions how can i cannot be shortened how can we write the contracted form of i cannot i cannot go outside today because it is raining i can't go outside today because it is raining i am going to do some work this afternoon i'm going to do some work this afternoon i have my family with me i've got my family with me we are going to watch a film later on we're going to watch a film later on does not it does not matter that i cannot be outside this afternoon because it's raining it doesn't matter that i can't be outside this afternoon because it's raining we're going to stay and watch a film instead i would i would like to go fishing again i'd like to go fishing again you have a go please change these words into the contracted form will not so what vowels are going to change to shorten will not i will not i won't fantastic won't cannot cannot can't super i can't go outside this afternoon because it's raining you have you have a really cool car i think it's great unlike my blue one as i i can hear you all saying i like your blue one mr jacobs but you have can be shorter to you've got a really nice car and they are going outside in their really nice car this afternoon they're going outside so we can shorten it to they're going outside with the apostrophe i have given your teachers some more um, words for you to have a go at understanding contractions so very similar to the last two slides where we've written the contracted form i'm challenging you to do that on that sheet of paper it is differentiated in your email so one star will be the um, sort of like the sizzling level two stars will be hot three stars if you like a bit of a challenge um, for scorching have a go at all three by all means but do it in the order so do one star then two then three have a go at it um, involve your family and, and your siblings as well mums dads siblings and test their knowledge because sometimes you know we do make the odd mistakes even us adults i know it's hard to believe but we we do so you might you might catch them out so have a bit of fun with it and as always i can't wait to see you all stay safe